I'm back. My name is Anna for those of you who are new and for those who are returning from our last video where I showed you how to play the C major scale, welcome back. Today we are going to be learning how to play the G major scale. So you're probably wondering why are we playing the G major scale? For those of you who are familiar with music theory, you'll know that following the C major scale, G major is next on the circle of fifths. So I'm gonna read a little summary here explaining what exactly is the circle of fifths. The circle of fifths lays out all of the key signatures in relation to one another in a circular format, and as you move around the circle clockwise, you add a sharp, or once you get far enough, remove a flat to create the next key signature. We've included a diagram below to help visualize that circle of fifths, as well as a link to an article that further explains what it is. So based on this and music theory, we're going to follow the circle of fifths when teaching you guys these scales, because that's pretty much what makes sense, theoretically. All of that being said, let's get started on learning the G major scale. So the first note that we're going to be playing is of course G, and similar to the C major scale, that we learned last month, we're just gonna be lifting one finger at a time, except instead of F natural, we're playing F sharp. But we'll get there in a moment. So first, we're going to start off with all three fingers on the left hand down, as well as all three fingers on the right hand down as well, plus back keyhole, like so. And this is what G is gonna sound like. <laughs> And then next comes A, and we're just going to lift that bottom finger. So we're going to have all three down, plus one and two on the right hand, plus back key hole. Next, we're going to lift the top finger of the right hand, and then we're only going to have the middle finger down on the right hand, as well as the first three on the left. This is B. And then we're going to lift that finger so your right hand should not be down. And we're just going to have these three down. And that's going to be C. And then we're going to, again, lift the bottom finger of the left hand and just have those two fingers down plus back keyhole. And that's D. So we've learned the first five notes of the G major scale, so let's start from the beginning. Remember, we're playing low G, and then we're gonna lift one finger at a time until we hit that middle point. So starting from G, we're gonna lift to A, and then we're gonna lift the pointer finger on the right hand, and then that'll be B, and then we're gonna lift that, and this is going to be C, and then we're gonna lift that bottom finger and that'll be D. So G, A, B, C, D. And then we're gonna stop. And then we're going to lift this finger and then this is going to be our E. So next comes F sharp and all we're going to do is lift the bottom finger. Your thumb should not be on the back keyhole, only your pointer finger should be on that first key right here. This is F sharp. And lastly, we're going to play octave G, which is just nothing, no fingers down at all, just an open G. So this is what it's going to sound like. So the last time we stopped, we were at D, we went to E, F sharp and then G. So let's go back from D and play D, E, F sharp, G. And that is the first octave of the G major scale. Now let's put it all together and we're going to play the entire scale slowly, no stops. Here we go. go back down. Now for the second 
octave, we're again going to be jumping the bridge as we did in C major, and we are going to start where we left off in the first octave. So we're starting with no fingers down on the clarinet, just an open G, and this will be the first note of the second octave of the G major scale. Next, we're going to play A again, which is just going to be this little key right here at the top. No thumb on the back key, just this finger down. This is A. Now we're going to jump the bridge and we need to make sure that we have this register key pressed down to allow us to play those higher notes as well as have your thumb covered entirely on that back keyhole. So we're going to have these two pressed all the way down and we're going to have all of these three fingers on the left hand and all of these three fingers on the right hand down and then what I like to do is I'm going to put my pinky on this key right here like so and this is the way that I personally like to play B for the G major scale it just makes switching pinkies easier for when we lead into C so again all these three down these three down back register and this key right here all of that together will be B and then from B, we're going to switch pinkies, and then I like to play C this way, so keep your left and right hand still. All we're doing is switching pinkies, and then make sure your left pinky is on this key right here. Should be the upper middle key. And then just your left and right hand remaining still, and that's going to be C. So from B to C, we're just going from your right pinky on this key and then switching to your left pinky on this key. From there, we're just going to lift the pinky and your left and right hands should still remain the same. And that is going to be D. So again, we're going to break the scale in half and only play the first five notes. So starting from G, which is just open G, and then A, which is this key right here, jump the bridge, B, pinky here, everything else down, plus back and register key. And then from here, we're switching fingers to C, and then lifting that finger to D. And then this is where we're going to stop. So here we go. So from D, again, we're just going to be lifting one finger at a time, and then this is going to be sort of like starting over from the first octave of the G major scale. It's definitely repetitive, and the only difference is that we have now the register key to allow us to play higher notes. That's the only difference, which is pretty cool. So if you remember the notes from the first octave, then you should have no issues from D going forward. So D is, again, just these three, these three, back, and register key. And then lifting that, this is going to be E. And then lifting the top finger of the right hand, keeping the middle finger down, this is F sharp. And then finally, lifting that finger, only your left hand, first three fingers, plus back and register keys, should be down. And then this is the final note for the G major scale, second octave. So starting from the second half, we're going to start where we stopped from D, and then lift one finger at a time until we hit G. So starting from D, we're going to lift the third finger, and then this is going to be E, and then we're going to lift that first finger, keep the middle finger down, this is going to be F sharp, and then we're going to lift that, and that will be our final note, which is G. So starting from D, here we go, D, E, F sharp, G. So 
now combining both octaves, this is how it's going to sound like together. <laughs> Pad, so sorry about that little dulling in there, but that is how you play the G major scale both octaves. All right, everybody, that is how you play G major on the clarinet. Be sure to check back next week where Cassidy is going to be showing you how to play the next minor scale. That being said, you guys, keep practicing because practice makes perfect. All right, see you guys in the next video.